This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. So there are a surprising number of ammo types available in Fallout 4. There's 38, 308, 44, 45, 50, and 5mm, just to name a few. Uh, since it's been requested, I figured I'd go over what, in my opinion, are the best ammo types available to the player in Fallout 4. Uh, today we'll be focusing on the best damage to purchase value ratio possible. In other words, that's going to be the best damage per bottle cap spent. We'll mainly be focusing on ballistic guns and weapons in this episode, and to give ourselves the best price as possible, my character will have a charisma stat of 11. Uh, if your charisma stat is lower, you will have to pay even more markup on ammo from vendors. One more quick disclaimer, just because an ammo ranks low on this list doesn't necessarily mean that it's awful. Uh, what it does mean though is that you are getting less damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, but before I take any longer, top 10 worst to best ballistic ammo types in Fallout 4 starting now. Number 10, 5mm ammo. 5mm ammo deals the least amount of damage, has the shallowest damage scaling after upgrading weapons, and is one of the three cheapest ammo types available to the player in Fallout 4. Obviously, 5mm ammo uh, is exclusive to miniguns, uh, though that may change with future weapons being added in various DLCs. 5mm uh, ammo costs one bottle cap per round, deals 8 damage on the low end, and up to 10 damage on the high end with a fully upgraded minigun. Uh, this gives the minigun a damage to purchase value of 8 to 10 per bottle cap spent. It's worth mentioning that with the heavy guns perk, you can double the effectiveness of 5mm ammunition, uh, putting you at about 16 to 20 damage per bottle cap, uh, and when combined with a fully maxed out demolition expert perk on an explosive minigun, I've seen the minigun get as high as like 76 to 80 damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, so, in summary, uh, I guess if you learned anything from this, get an explosive minigun, one, and then max out heavy gunner and demolition expert perks, and you won't regret it. Number nine, 50 caliber. 50 caliber ammunition deals considerably more damage per shot, clocking in at roughly 59 damage per shot on the low end, and 64 damage per shot on the high end with a 50 caliber hunting rifle. Uh, provided 50 caliber ammo costs five bottle caps per round, this gives the 50 caliber round anywhere from an 11.8 to 12.8 damage uh, per bottle cap spent. The weakness of the 50 caliber round as of right now is that it can only be fired from both the pipe bolt action rifle or pistol and the hunting rifle, meaning you will need to make every single shot hit and count. Um, at the same time, both the pipe bolt action weapons and the hunting rifle uh, do seem to deal considerably more damage upon scoring a critical hit in VATS. Uh, also, by equipping a suppressor and investing in perks that boost your sneak attack damage, uh, you can get significantly more damage out of the 50 caliber round. Number 8. 308 caliber. 308 caliber ammunition at its lowest deals 34 damage per shot, and at the higher end of that deals 57 damage per shot on a fully upgraded 308 combat rifle. Uh, provided 308 caliber ammo costs 4 bottle caps per round, this gives you a damage to purchase value ratio of anywhere from 8.5 to 14.25 damage per bottle cap spent. The funny thing about 308 caliber ammunition is that the highest damage per shot value is on the combat rifle and not on the hunting rifle like you would expect. Uh, both of course use and make use of the rifleman perk and you can get the 308 combat rifle to deal 114 damage per shot uh, with rifleman maxed out and that's going to bring you up to 28.5 damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, and I would say if you're not playing a stealth character, uh, but you are invested in the Rifleman perk, uh, the 308 Combat Rifle is an excellent choice. Number 7, 45 Caliber. 45 Caliber is one of the more flexible ammo types that can appear on both pistols, rifles, and automatic variants of both. Uh, at its lowest, the 45 Caliber round clocks in at 10 damage per shot and at its highest at 49 damage per shot on a fully upgraded semi-automatic combat rifle. Uh, provided 45 caliber ammunition costs three bottle caps per bullet, 
you're getting a damage to purchase ratio of anywhere between 3.3, uh, which is the lowest, uh, and 14.3 damage per bottle cap spent. As mentioned earlier, 45 caliber ammo can appear on pistols, rifles, and automatic weapons. Though I would recommend if you are going to have to buy 45 caliber ammunition, I would only recommend you do so with the rifleman perk and provided you have a fully upgraded semi-automatic combat rifle. Uh, otherwise, I would recommend if you're using either a pistol or some kind of automatic weapon uh, to just loot your ammo instead. Number six, 10 millimeter ammo. 10 millimeter ammunition is available on only two weapons, the 10 millimeter pistol and its semi-auto and automatic variants, and the deliverer pistol, which is semi-automatic only. Uh, at its lowest, the 10 millimeter ammo round clocks in at 14 damage per shot, and at the highest, uh, clocks in at 43 damage per shot on a fully upgraded deliverer. Uh, provided 10 millimeter ammo costs three bottle caps per bullet, you're getting a damage to purchase value ratio of 4.67 on the low end and 14.3 on the high end, uh, and that's going to be 14.3 uh, damage per bottle cap spent. Like I mentioned with the 45 caliber round last time and that you should only buy ammo if you're using a fully upgraded semi-automatic combat rifle. Uh, I feel the same way about 10 millimeter ammo. Really, you should only be buying this if you have the gunslinger perk, which improves pistols, and you're primarily using a deliverer pistol. Uh, otherwise, I'd recommend you just loot this kind of ammo off of enemies. Number five, 556 millimeter ammo. 556 millimeter ammunition's biggest advantage is that it costs almost the same as both 10 millimeter ammo and 45 caliber ammo while being slightly more ammo efficient. Uh, unfortunately, 556 millimeter ammo is only available on the assault rifle as other weapons that would have used it were cut from the game. Uh, at its lowest, 556 ammo deals 20 damage per shot, and at its highest, deals 52 damage per shot, which is on a fully upgraded semi-automatic assault rifle. Uh, provided 556 ammo costs three bottle caps per bullet, uh, you will get anywhere from 6.67 to 17.3 damage per bottle cap spent. Overall. 556 millimeter ammunition is a better value than both 10 millimeter uh, as well as 45 caliber ammunition. Uh, however, it should be mentioned when it comes to damage per shot, you're still going to get better damage out of a 308 semi automatic combat rifle. Uh, so while you're getting more damage per bottle cap spent from the 556 bullet, uh, you're still getting more damage by purchasing 308 caliber bullets. Uh, ultimately, what I would recommend is that the player loot both ammo types from enemies and save their hard-earned bottle caps for the upcoming ammo types. Number four, 44 caliber. Without a doubt, one of the best values for your hard-earned bottle caps is 44 caliber ammunition. The only downside is that 44 caliber ammo can only be used on the 44 caliber pistol, which has a relatively low magazine size, meaning every single shot must hit. Uh, that said, at its lowest, you're dealing 48 base damage with the 44 uh, stock caliber pistol, and up to 84 damage per shot uh, when it is fully upgraded. Uh, provided 44 caliber ammo costs four bottle caps per bullet, you're getting anywhere from 12 to 21 damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, provided you're primarily a pistol user and you have maxed out the gunslinger perk, uh, you will be dealing 168 damage per shot, which puts you at 42 damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, this is pretty good in my opinion and will probably be the best ammo type to spend your money on if you're a pistol user. Number three. Shotgun shells. Shotgun shells can deal anywhere from 45 damage per shot up to 87 damage per shot on a fully upgraded semi-automatic combat shotgun. Uh, provided shotgun shells cost four bottle caps per round, on the low end, you're getting 11.25, and on the high end, you're getting 21.75 damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, keep in mind, this is before any perks are applied to your character. Uh, if you did have the rifleman perk, 
you can bring it up to 43.5 damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that if you have the Demolition Expert perk maxed out, uh, but you don't have any points in the Rifleman perk, uh, you can deal 117 damage per shot, uh, according to the item card. Uh, if you did have both Demolition Expert and Rifleman perks maxed out, you can deal up to 204 damage per shot as listed on the item card. At 204 damage per shot, assuming shotgun shells cost 4 bottle caps per shell, you're getting 51 damage per bottle cap spent. Overall, I would say that's excellent, uh, though I do wish it was a little bit higher. Number 2, 38 caliber. Considered to be the weakest ammo type in Fallout 4, 38 caliber is one of the cheapest ballistic ammo types available to the player for purchase, having the same value as 5mm ammunition. Uh, at the lowest, 38 caliber rounds can deal 10 damage per shot, and at the highest, they can deal 28 damage per shot on a fully upgraded hunting rifle modified to use 38 ammunition. A provided 38 caliber costs one bottle cap per bullet, you're getting anywhere from 10 to 28 damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, from a practical aspect though, I would like to mention that 38 caliber ammo doesn't deal that much damage, and since it's cheap and can be found virtually anywhere, I would recommend using it on automatic weapons only. A fully upgraded automatic pipe pistol or rifle deals 16 damage per shot, and provided you have the commando perk, that will bring you up to 32 damage per bottle cap spent, which is pretty good. Uh, this is actually, again, pretty decent, considering that the minigun at its best is dealing 20 damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, the weird thing, though, is that the minigun seems to benefit more from maxing out the Demolition Expert perk, provided you both have an explosive minigun and an explosive automatic pipe rifle. Um, I'm not really sure why that is, though. And finally, Number 1. Railway Spikes Without a doubt, the Railway Spike is the best value for any ballistic ammo type available to the player in Fallout 4. Uh, both non-upgraded and fully upgraded, the Railway Rifle deals 100 damage per shot, and assuming one Railway Spike costs one bottle cap, you're getting 100 damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, if you have the Rifleman or Commando perk, uh, and then depending on your upgrades, you're getting 200 damage per bottle cap spent. Uh, the only real downside is that the Railway Rifle has lower DPS than many of the other weapons on this list, or mentioned on this list. Uh, however, if you are on a budget and want the most damage possible for the least amount of money possible, the Railway Rifle is the best option. Anyway guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. As always, take care and I'll see you all next time.